What's up, my name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to set up and use TOTP for KeyPass. This is part of a much longer series that goes into detail on installing and using KeyPass, setting it up on your Android phone and linking it between the two, keeping them synced constantly using a program called SyncThing, as well as setting up a browser integration, which we'll be using a lot in this video. So of course, if you haven't seen those videos already or you haven't got it set up for yourself, you'll need to go ahead and do that first. It's all part of one bigger complete guide, which is up to about half an hour in length, but these split up episodes contain a bit more detail and may just be a bit more search friendly and more your thing rather than one huge long crash course video. Anyways, once you have KeyPass set up and you'd like to start using TOTP, that's where you need to come to this video. So what exactly is TOTP for KeyPass? Well, when you log into a website using the browser integration or just copying and pasting the username and password out of KeyPass, you can of course log in without having to remember your username or password. It'll fill it in for you, hit enter, and then you get taken across to the next screen. The next screen usually is enter the two-factor code from your mobile phone. You'll pick it up, unlock it, open up Authy or any two-factor app like that, find your account, click it, read the code, wait for two, three seconds if it's just about to go across to the next group, and eventually you get to write down the code. However, with KeyPass, it's basically completely automated. You may have to click a button to get it to put the details in. It just punches in the code for you after generating it. It really does simplify logging in again. And it doesn't really, as far as I understand, break that whole security reason that you'd actually have to factor in the first place, which is something you know, the password, and something you have, your mobile device, that allows you to keep the two-factor code on it. Technically, this way, it is still something you know, the password, and something you have, the KeyPass database, as well as the password for that, and the knowledge of how to use it. So there is some added security using two-factor there, not to mention, hackers and them won't have access to your two-factor code to begin with unless they're on your computer and they open up your KeyPass database, which hopefully they haven't been able to do, especially because I know you've been using a strong password for that. Anyways, enough explaining aside, let's get into it. For this example, I'll sign into my old Twitter account just to show you exactly how it works. So to begin, I'll head across to Twitter and sign in using email and password. After logging into my account, I'll head across to my user settings, if I can remember how to get them, and somewhere into the security or privacy section where I can actually get to two-factor. Security, security, there we go, two-factor authentication. Now I already have it enabled, so I'll turn off the existing authenticator app and then turn it on. Doing so, it'll ask me for my password, which I can autofill, and then it gives me a QR code. Now, of course, I'll be changing this after this video, so I have no issue showing this here. All you need to do is open up KeyPass and then locate the account in question. In my case, it's this over here. In order to actually add two-factor to this, right-click the account, TOTP, and then click Set Up TOTP. Inside of here, you'll be asked for a secret key, and then you'll choose an algorithm down here. Usually, it'll be this top one here. That's the default for basically all different authenticator apps. There's also Steam token settings, not too sure how you'd use this with Steam. And there's custom settings down here, though you definitely shouldn't be messing with these if you don't know what's going on. Anyway, default token settings. The secret key we need to get from this QR code over here. On some websites, they'll show you a code that you can copy and paste into them. Otherwise, if you see this, you need to go ahead and translate it. Now, this can be an issue. The simplest way that I know around this and the way that I've used for basically all QR codes is by scanning them in using a friendly screenshot application that I usually use to take screenshots called ShareX. It actually comes with built-in tools for reading and understanding QR codes as well. If I open up ShareX over here after installing it, which in your case, you'll probably have to download and install it too. I'd recommend it. It's a great piece of software. Click tools on the left-hand side followed by QR code. This QR code window will then show up and you have the option to encode a QR code, which is rather fun and useful, but we want the decode tab over here. We'll click decode from screen and then all we need to do is draw a box around the QR code. This way, it'll tell us exactly what's inside of it. Now, you'll usually see something like this. What you need to do is look for the secret equals followed by the random code. This random code is what we need to copy. So I'll copy this code here and head back to KeyPass. I'll paste in the secret key here, then click OK. Upon doing so, your database will then save and you'll notice the authenticator icon over here. If we right click TOTP, we can now copy TOTP, show TOTP 
and show QR code if we'd like to scan it into a mobile device. Note that it will look different to the QR code here. Why? Well, because it doesn't include the same information. If we decode this, in fact, ShareX doesn't even seem to understand this for some reason. Rather odd. Anyways, using the show TOTP, you get exactly what you'd see inside of a mobile authenticator app. It expires in 30 seconds and you have time to add it. Awesome, it's now set up properly. What we need to do is head back to Twitter, click next, and now that we've actually added it, all we need to do is enter the code here, which we can do by clicking the fill TOTP from KeyPass XC button here. Then click verify, and it's verified. In this case, I get a single use backup code in case I lose it. You would usually want to write this down somewhere, not necessarily inside of KeyPass in the notes section, but you could if you wanted. I'll click got it, and we're done. I'll go ahead and log out. Now I'll go back to sign in, sign in with username and password. I'll select the correct account, log in, and I'll enter the authenticator code here. Click the button, log in, and we're into our account as simply as that. Now, of course, I'll be removing this and adding my own one back, but that's really as simple as it gets. It's now in KeyPass and should be secured as long as your master password is nice and long and secure for KeyPass to begin with. You can also right click TOTP, set up and it'll just replace it in here, which is exactly what I'll be doing if I want to keep my TOTP in here rather than on my physical phone. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Once again, it's a part of a longer series. Check the description down below for other key pass videos. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.